What's up? It's your girl Shay Noor. I'm chilling at the real home of hip hop with Mike Powers. What's poppin'? It's your boy Mike Powers. Hope y'all are having a good day today. We're gonna start this one out a little bit different. Some shout outs, random people that have been showing me support. I really do appreciate it. Let's start with Rhapsody fan page, IG. Go to Rhapsody fan page on IG. Check the sis out. She's a real hip hop head and a strong supporter. Love you. Lou Diamonds, Rap Shogun, Who That Peas, what's poppin'? With the old head single, go check out old head by Who That Peas. Who That Peas. Uh, Big Rich was popping. Marquise Walker. Mises. Jutini all the way from France was popping. Kareem Biggs. What's up? Maurice Riddick. Savvy 411 RN. I see you saying jam. Joey Baloney. Goddess Matt. Ace 330. D Official 1 was popping. John Jiggs, I see you. Go check out John Jiggs' new single too. A Rock City Mark, Greg Guilford, Ronnie Alpha, Tone Beats was popping. DJ Care Mike, I see you. Fuego Bass, 77A Vibe, only one true was popping. I love y'all. And now let's get down to business for my real hip hop heads only. I bring to you the man I have come to refer to as the perfect storm. G4 Jag hails from the legendary home of the true hustlers, Harlem, New York, and is blessed with a voice that haunts the psyche and bars that remind you how incredibly prolific a street soldier can be. He is of the kind that society has sought to eradicate, throw away, marginalize, and foist onto the trash heap of irrelevancy. But G4 Jag, has brought to bear a collection of skills that refuse to be ignored. He appears on this platform today because he is important to the culture. Please do not hesitate to stop me if you hear me lying. He's not just a practitioner of the art, he is a full-blown scientist in this field of rapidemiology, which is a good thing, because his bars are infectious and they kill every beat they touch. Axe Flea Lord. Axe 38 Spech. Axe the Mussolini. Axe Ito. Axe Planet Asia. There is an existential threat emanating from the streets of New York City. Don't say I didn't warn you. Tuck your chain. The underdog has now entered the octagon, wielding a pen that drips venom in lethal doses. And because I love this game, it gives me great pleasure to welcome for the first time on the Mike Power Show, the last dude you want to see in a dark alley on payday. Mr. Meet Me in the Sky, a.k.a. the voice of God. G4 Jag is in the building. What's up? G4 Jag, what's up, man? What an intro. What an intro, man. That's the Mike Powers classic intro right there. Good Lord. Hey, I, hope, I hope they recorded that. <laughs> yes, certainly and well deserved every single word of it. Brother, thank you for coming onto this platform and allowing me this privilege. I'm a fan like everybody else, and I'm just about to fan the fuck out right here and ask some questions. Man, I appreciate the opportunity, man. And please, man, shoot for the stars, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Now, you are from Harlem. Um, all I ever hear about Harlem is Harlem breeds hustlers, right? Dame Dash, right? Teddy Riley, uh, Big L, Black Rob, Cam is from Absolutely. Harlem, right? Absolutely. So give me an in-depth look at Harlem. People think I'm from New York. I'm not. But give me an in-depth look at Harlem. What is it like on the ground in Harlem? I mean, Harlem has a lot of different temperatures. You know what I'm saying? Like, you definitely have the hustlers, you got the people outside, you got your hard workers, you got your families, you got your business owners, you got, you know, every, every type of temperature that you happen in the other community. But, you know, what seems to come out of Harlem is, you know, a strong vibe of kind of entrepreneurship and creativity that, you know, is unmatched, you know, in the world to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? From my perception, like, uh, you see you see the level of, of, of creativity and ownership and people who want it more 
you know, than, than any other place on, on earth is how I feel and how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? And you take that drive and you apply it to, you know, whatever it is that's your passion and, you know, grow it from that point, you know? Yeah, it, it would seem to me uh, by listening to your music, and this is just my perception because you come across so strong. It's so much talent there. It would seem to me that you've probably grown into a Harlem legend. This is just my perception. How do is Harlem showing you love? Um, Harlem, Harlem is um, I tell you like this, right? The people that that need to show the love. That's what you focus on. You focus on who shows the love, not who doesn't. Like that's what I've been, you know, taught, and that's kind of how I was, you know, raised. So. You know, when I'm in Harlem, absolutely. Where, where I'm at, the people who know, the people who are in tune, they show, they're showing lots of love and lots of appreciation, and I'm wild grateful for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, of course, there's people not in tune with the lane, not in tune with the sound. Like, you know what I mean? And they, they may not be familiar, but, you know, that's that's cool, too. You know, in tune, whatever you're in tune with. Like, I'm here to do my thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't offend me if you're not aware. It just means I got to work a little harder. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, I, I feel like I'm grateful for the, for, the, for the motherfuckers that's actually in tune and listening and supporting people that's showing up and, 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 and who do purchase and even listen and stream. Like, yeah, everybody in Harlem that does support because if I look on my list of listeners, New York is, you know, top three always. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, it's definitely some people listening. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm always grateful for that. But, like, when I say I'm walking around and I'm like, oh, I'm the king of Harlem, I wouldn't, like, you know, preach that, you know, kind of, you know, agenda at all. I'm just... I'm G4, man. I'm a regular nigga from 115th, man. I just work hard for the shit I believe. Got you. And I love New York, the boroughs, all that shit. You know, I'm falling in love with upstate now, too. But, um, you know, just to be completely frank, for you Harlem cats, anybody else in the boroughs, Brooklyn, <laughs> Bronx, whatever, if y'all niggas out here on that auto-tune, y'all doing that wavy shit like that, nigga, I don't fuck with you. Just, I mean, let's just keep it, I'm going to just keep it a buck. I mean, I'm not super thug, super gangster. You know what I mean, y'all niggas tougher than me, whatever. Call it what you want to call it. I don't fuck with you niggas, though. Y'all lame. I can't respect you. You know what I mean? That's, that's not real New York to me. So when you look at this platform, you see a real New York cat showing the fuck up. You're, hey, <laughs> your voice. Uh, I, I, I got to get right into this. When did your voice start getting this deep? Um... Probably a I, I, little younger than most, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I was a, you know, my pops, like, 6'5", was, like, 6'5", 280. Like, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm 6'2", 350, I'm a big dude, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, don't, I mean, you know, my voice been like this for, for as long as I've been this size, about, so I'm about 12, 13, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. My voice changed. Did anybody else, have, anybody else called you the voice of God? Without a first? No, that's, that, that is a Mike Powers first. Like, I yes. can say that with, 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 with yes. genuine. Yes, because I'll be, uh, be granting cats. Like, that's, that's real shit right there. That's a first for me. So, like, I appreciate that. I'm going to run with that one, too. You're going to hear that watch. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, I, if I, I try to get nicknames, and I hope the nicknames is – I don't just shit this shit out. My, I be sometimes thinking about this shit for a long time. So if I give somebody a nickname, I want it to be a really good nickname. I don't know how, how you get better than the voice of God. I'm just saying. Right. Hey. No, that's 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 fucking awesome right there. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's going so many places. We like, watch, watch, watch the moves. <laughs> I feel you playing. Hey, uh, so you, I, I see you on IG. Everyone, you, you support your brothers, which some of these people we're gonna get into later. You support, you know, moves, flea. Uh, Etho, all these guys, and you always show up with the with the birds with the wings. I didn't know what it meant at first. Then I start seeing fly family. Explain to the people what Fly Family is. So, um, Fly Family is um, kind of my 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 collective of artists and producers and people who um, I'm you know working with and growing and developing together. Like you know what I'm saying? Because all these guys are kind of established artists. These are not like really newer artists. These are artists who have their own you know, movements and kind of own situations and just kind of we're, we're more like coming together to kind of make sure we build them and take it to the next level. So, um, and then on top of that, like, um, besides the business side of it, um, you know, if you look on my IG, I, one of my highlights in my stories, I got to break down of like what I actually think the, the, like the vision of Fly Family is. And that's just like anybody like, you know, male or female, that's just, you know, living that path and doing the shit they got to do, mm. you know, righteously, you know, whether it be, you know, through society standards and righteousness or not, but just doing what the fuck they got to do to provide for their people and, you know, make sure that, 
they people was fed and protected at the end of the day, the providers and protectors, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you're taking care of, you know, your people, you know, fly family, my family, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can get fly at the same time. Well, of course, you know, fly family, my family, like, you know what I'm saying? We're so inclusive to the to the righteous, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, um, like I said, on the business side, it's more, you know, the producers and artists that, you know, that I work with and represent and we're working together to kind of put out this, you know, classic music salute to, you know, El Biz and uh, Mercy Q Stiller, Akil Ali, um, uh, off the top of the head, I want to freestyle. I'm a, a shooter, two gun shoot out of Niagara Falls has been working with us. Um, you know, everybody that's, you know, been under the umbrella, the producers, uh, much love to the Jesus, Isaac Nobe. Um, uh, it's like that Rubik's Cube, you know, out of Buffalo, uh, those guys, um, you know, anybody that I forgot, forgive me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, you know, the love is real. Um, uh, and that, that, that's really just, you know, us, like, you know, work together to kind of make sure we put out dope projects. Business kind of been, you know, the first on the forefront of that kind of face. Uh, El Biz, go check that out if you haven't. I stay busy dot com, man. Um, yeah, I've heard of El Biz too before. Yeah, yeah, and like I said, these people already have, you know, established movements and doing their own thing. Like, I am not the reason they exist, but we are going to work together to make sure it, um, it continues to flourish. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, and that's what I love about, you know, my brothers that's, that work with me. It's like, they all stand on their own too. There's nobody that's like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a crutch too. We all, everybody's an asset. There's no, no liabilities. Were you ever reluctant to be a rhymer with that voice? Did it take, how long did it take you to find your sweet spot with that voice? Did you learn um, how to use it? It depends on what you can, like, from your perspective, like what you like, the music that you like right now, the music that I'm producing at this exact moment, I would say it would start with the Survivors brand with the first project that that Flea executive produced, which would have been last year, January, um, because that would have been the first body of work that you got with this sound that kind of, he, he actually really took the time and, um, you know, helped me kind of build and, and, and create, you know, to, to the point where, you know, I learned myself how to drive it and now, you know, create it consistently. So um, shout out to Fleet Lord, always the bro, like, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think that Survivor's project was really, the, you know, the, 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 um, the, pro the project where that pocket was like, all right, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I, you know what I'm saying? And um, let's do it again. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so yeah. beautiful. And I love Fleet, right? Um, and I think I got, I, I think, you know, there's some <laughs> mentions of Flea uh, in my notes here, but let me just, because you mentioned them, um, and I don't want to get on Flea bad side. Flea, I was in your DMs. I'm I was trying to holler, so. <laughs> Flea, don't snap. Don't just don't, <laughs> don't snap. Nah, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. It is, <laughs> I promise don't take it personal. Flea's like really one of the most righteous dudes. It's just he's so busy. The man is like, you know, a, a walking entity. You know, we'll be all... You know what you know what we all aim you know to be as artists like then that man is doing it on triple time so it's like you know between business orders and artist requests and then media requests and then i can't imagine what his dm look like you know what i'm saying he's like, a boss yeah, so, he's a boss yeah so it's like yeah it's it's it's, it's i promise it ain't nothing personal like, you I know. know what i'm saying i know and that's and that's a phone and, and i'm on the lines a phone call away yeah, I already know. I know we're going to talk. I know we're going to, I'm fucking with Flea right now. But um, I, I listened to, um, you know, some, some more of his stuff like the other day. It just happened to come up in my shuffle when I'm listening. And I'm just like, he's still evolving with bars, Flea Lord, right now. Oh, man, he's not he, even close to finish. He's just getting started, man. Which is Dialing crazy. for a ride, like, you know what I mean? Boy is hungry. And, um. I don't even think they understand how hungry he yet. But, um, he rap over different kind of beats, man. He he bring different cadences to the shit, and then motherfuckers might want to under don't underestimate Flea wordplay. <laughs> but y'all niggas be seeing him yeah. on live doing this little thing. Y'all think it's a game? No, listen, I will be listening to these finished products, and he keep on going up and up and up in terms of skill level. Yeah, but but yeah, uh, masterpiece after masterpiece after masterpiece, literally. Right? I love what he's doing. I love what he's doing. Um, and I love his, his drive, his tenacity, the, that, 
the show of love, like the way y'all just got love for y'all brothers, man, is a beautiful thing to witness in hip hop. Y'all niggas ain't beefing with each other, trying to tear the next nigga down. Um, I, I, I love it. You are especially impressive on those uh, understated, soulful, somber beats. Uh, the bars are next level, but your voice is one of those voices that is like another instrument on the beat. That's very important. His voice is like another instrument. Um, is that something you always have to find uh, find the pocket for when you get in the studio, or is that right now like kind of like second nature to you? How you get nah, on those it's, beats? It's, it's, it's more. It's more making sure the um, the environment is what I need. Mean. Like as long as I can get through the level right. Um, the engineers with me, then um, we gonna be all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it, it's I, I'm just talking for the most part, my brother. Like, it's not like you know what I mean. I'm going in there, and it's not a lot of extra shit going on. It's, it's just it's very natural. Like anybody who's been in the studio with me will attest. Like it's not um, it's not forced. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a very I like to say the, the simpler the better. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it start to get overflowed. It's um, it's not organic no more. You know what I mean? Like when I come to when I come for a session, I'm coming to reflect on whatever you know the beat is is, is speaking to me at the moment. Like you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be a reflection, so it's not gonna be too much that needs to be done because it already happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking on it. Yeah. You know I mean? Do you ever smile? <laughs> yeah, I smile. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, you caught me. <laughs> hey, yes, yes, I do smile. All these videos I see, G4 Jack in the videos, this bro is never. Hey, well, I, I smiled in my last video. Did I you? definitely smiled. What's, the name, what's the name of the last? What's the name of the last video? Uh, where you been? Yeah, I just beat that video. I'm, I'm, I think I'm like, I smiled maybe once, maybe once or twice. Did I you? was having a good time in that video. No, let's talk about where you've been. Let's talk about where you've been. <laughs> let me talk. Let me listen. Because you showed up in that motherfucker on a Vespa scooter. How did they convince your big ass to get on that little ass scooter? <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't you on the scooter that get, dropped off the bag? Was that supposed to be you? What the? F Come on, man. <laughs> Who's that big motherfucker on that scooter, though? That was Q Stella. That was Stella. That was the young. That was that's that's my little bro. Like, but um, he um he's he's from one fifteenth. Like that, he's actually one of the. Like I said, he's a he fly he fly family to die for. He with us and um amazing artists, ball for ball. He's fucking the But I don't want I don't want a lot of y'all. I I want y'all to find that out for yourselves. Hey, what's his name? The, um, Q Stella. Q Stella. Yep. Q S T I double L A. And he, you say he got bars. Um, he yeah, has bars. So it's blessed. Oh, if if G4 said man. the man got bars, I'm going to have to, somebody yeah. not got to send me a fucking link because I'm about to be on this dude's IG. I'm going to hit the follow button. Yeah, I'm going to try to find out what this dude is doing. Yeah, nah, he, like I said, he's he, 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 he's in the process. He's cooking right now. He's under construction right now. Good, so okay, he's, okay. He's, he's in that phase. But um, when, when it happens, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be definitely worth the tapping. Um. Right now, like I said, on the forefront, we got L Biz. He actually just dropped Latter Day Saints, which is an amazing project, um, and I'm on that thing. So if you ain't heard it, please make sure you check it out. Yeah, I gotta, you know yeah, saying? yeah, go, go yeah. check it out. I gotta, I don't know if I follow L Biz yet or not, but I will be. Yeah, my name is L Biz. I believe um at, uh, at my name is L Biz on IG, man. Please tap into it. At my oh. name is L Biz on IG. Yeah. You heard it here yeah. first. You spit over Born to Roll, the Master Ace joint. Woo! Um, dude, that uh, you killed it, first of all. Hey, you was outside when Born to Roll came out? You was off the porch? 94? Yeah, I was off the porch 94. I was young, but I was off the porch. Okay. <laughs> I, never, I never know. I was a young boy, though, but we was outside already. You got to remember, in 1994, life was different. Like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like 2020. He was outside. And I'm like, my, 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 my older brother was outside. So he was four years old. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, ain't, I ain't had that kind of story, but yeah. definitely, you know what I mean? You're a little younger, like, you know what I mean? Definitely was outside. Like, and I don't know how. Before. Yeah, I, I was one of years. <laughs> I don't know how old you are, but you look, you you remind me, uh, I, I talked about this on the show before. There was a guy who was like, I think he was like fifth or sixth grade. He had a full ass beard. And right. I'm, a big, I'm a big dude now. I was so skinny back then. You look like the dude that my mom had to get on the school bus and tell the dude, quit fucking with my son. 
or some of kids. Nah, you know what's funny <laughs> is I, I me I, I had a my brother is only two years younger than me, so I wasn't really a solo act. It was always me and my brother. Right? You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, your mom might have put you on a bus and said, you know, don't sit near them two little niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I got a question about that coming up later. I don't, I'm, I'm about to get ahead of myself. Um, <laughs> hey, what's the best soul food spot in Harlem? Best soul food spot? I like Make My Fish on 116th between Lennox and 7th. Uh, they got the catfish with the greens and the, and the, and the mac and cheese and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my hood. That's downtown Harlem. You know, I, I'm, I'm messing with Make My Fish. Like, salute to them. Black owned. You know what I mean? Word. From the hood. Like, you fuck you with Sylvia's? Um, yeah, I, I mess with Sylvia's. Like I said, I'm more, I'm more of a grab and go kind of guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? My life, I ain't, I ain't really with. Uh, a little too fancy for me. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> All right, so when I come out that way, then we going to go to, what's the name of the spot? We going to make my fish. <laughs> make my fish. We going to go. I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm coming to Harlem. Yeah, you coming to Harlem. We going to go to make my fish. We going to get the catfish. We going to get the champagne. We going to the block. That, that, you, dude, that's music to my, I fuck with the catfish dinners. I mean, yeah, like we got to have sauce the on the fries. We got to have sauce on the fries. That's yeah, you know, hot sauce and tartar sauce, ketchup, you know, the Harlem, you know, you know, get it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's COVID, so you probably got to put it on outside, but you know how it is. Yeah. Oh, trust me, I'm going to be up in Harlem soon. When, when when they let us off a of lockdown, I'm about to get be up in Harlem. Believe that. Hey, so my information is that you lived around upstate as well. Yeah. Um, I've been in a lot of different cities. Is it what's, is the vibe different in upstate? Um, it's different, but it's it's a lot of the same, you know, same aspects. You know what I'm saying? And you, but you, things move different. How long did you live in upstate? Because you've been around. Uh, I've been uh, I've been in upstate almost 15 years. I was um a lot of different cities. I was I lived in Niagara Falls. I lived in Buffalo. I lived in Rochester. Um, I was kind of all throughout West New York, you know, that area, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I, I did the upstate tour, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of love for upstate. Talk to me um, about the nature of that that transient existence, that nomadic existence, it would seem like. So, upstate, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was, was um, I, w I went upstate because um, I was trying to do the school thing, like, you know what I'm saying? That did work out for me. And, um, Ended up in the project, you know what I mean, which was a little more familiar for me. Mm. And, um, you know, those vibes was like, to survive, you know what I mean? Like, I'm chill, I'm used to surviving, you know what I mean? That people, you know, along the same path as you. So, out to the originals, you know what I mean? Like, the people who was, who was still here, that was there, you know, in them days. And, like, you know what I mean? From 11 B Center Court, living in, you know, I got day ones everywhere, like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you move to a new city, new ciphers, new day ones, new beginnings, like, you know what I mean? Start all over, but you continue with your bridges, like, you know what I'm saying? So um, I got a lot of love for, you know, my, my first two kids was born in Niagara Falls, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, you know, that's their hometown. Like, you know what I mean, I'm from all over those, like, that's my kid's hometown, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, that's you gonna have authentic love for those type of places depending on your experiences like, you know what I'm saying that one thing I like to say is that my experiences with my peoples in the falls and Buffalo and, and Rochester um it, it's it's so much love for G4 like I said it, it, it's it's like a whole like it's like a, I have another whole another set of, of love life and you know people out there type of shit like you know what I mean that are gonna be there forever so it's like with this music shit, it was really about connecting the dots, like, you know what I'm saying, and making making everything make sense, like, you know what I'm saying, like, um, it, that, that's why when you say, like, um, you know, there's Harlem, you know, are you like the, the king of, I'm not really the king of nowhere, I'm more like the nomad, like, you know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> like, right. Like, you know what I mean, I'm the mover, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying, like, I, I, I'm really, I'm local, I, I'm, I'm local in a lot of places, like, you know what I'm saying, and, and now it's more like, just, you know, things are starting to more connect, so, it, it, it looked like it was. It happened overnight, but I was actually did a lot of footwork. I've been to a lot of places. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's talk. Let's talk about Flea Lord. Um, I think the first time I heard your voice, and this is true for a few cats. I think it was on a Thousand Words album. Lord Walk. Lord Walk. Shout out to Thousand Words, my bro. Man, thousand words with the with the shout the thousand words taking snapping the pics. You know what I mean? And I just think the um, thousand words project is 
mad underrated. People gonna dig that shit up fifty years from now. And oh, see how- only for photog- only photographer to executive producers on album, and um and, and and it's fire. Like you know what I'm saying. I think I think that goes understated when you talk about thousand words and his you know kind of creative genius and the things he's still doing that I don't even want to speak on because of intellectual property and shit like that. But you know if you into you know his movement, tap in, go follow him and um. You know, you check out he's doing some dope shit. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then you and you, y'all killed that 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 Laura Laura Walker is kind of aggressive. Y'all killed it. Um, and yeah. I, I think I think that was the first time I heard your voice, and I was just like, the, when I first heard the voice, that's the first thing I thought. This is the voice of God. Um, talk to me about it because everybody, if they know anything about you, know that you're real close with Flea. Talk to me about the genesis of that relationship and how y'all connected and, and how that relationship has blossomed since y'all met each other. Um, you know, me and Flea, the connection was always really organic. Um, we met because we were kind of working in the same studio um, situation. Uh, but, but we had our own, you know, I always was, you know, kind of doing my own thing. And he was like, you know, doing his own thing, working on his, um, I want to say maybe his second or third project. I'm not, I don't want to fuck his discography up but I know he was like one of his earlier projects and um he was like when I one thing I noticed about Flea was he was always there when I was there and I was there every damn day so you know what I'm saying like somebody was working that hard like you know yeah. I mean? you pay attention to that yeah. you know that kind of work that, and it was kind of more of a mutual thing like it was I remember one day uh dead ass we was I was in the studio and um I was like, I wanted the bro, I wanted him to come listen to some music, help me pick through some songs. I'm like, yo, today when he come through, I'm asking, like, yo, I want him to go listen to some of these records, see what he think, grab his ear on some things. So um, he pulled up, rolled, rolled a good gas, like always, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and he was like, yo, G4, like, I, I want to listen to your shit, like, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, we, we going to pick, like, you know, just just let me listen to them. Like, I'm, I'm going to pick the records. Like, we're going to pick, like, 10 songs, like, and I was like, man, that's like, that's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I almost felt like I was set up. I was like, this, was this like, did you know I was about to ask you that shit? Like, or, wow. Like, was that like, like you know, like, it was some real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really why I The universe I talking. Did. Yeah, for real, though. Like, I, yo, that's one thing. That's something I believe in is that, like, it ain't it ain't my plan. It's like, it's, it's, it's determined. So it's, it's it's up to you to just put the work in, like, you know what I mean? Like, nothing, nothing come without work, you know what I'm saying? But he narrowed it down to, like, 100 or some of it was, like, 100, then down to 50, then down to 20, then down to 10, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got the survivors, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, On Lord Walk, you... you... <laughs> Do you recognize how impressive the flow is with your voice being so low, but you you spitting that fast and hitting those punchlines? You recognize how <laughs> special that flow is? I um probably not. I mean, but I I, I tell you like this. Um, every time I'm in the booth, my goal is to make sure that it's memorable. You know what I'm saying? So as long as I don't, I, I feel like. If it's not gonna be that, then I'm not gonna record it. Like you know what I mean. So by the time I'm done with that process, I do feel confident that if if this is the kind of music you like, this is gonna resonate with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So like that that I say that'd be my take on my grasp of the you know what I'm saying the cadence. Like you know what I mean? I like I, I am confident that what I did you know what I mean. Hopefully is gonna resonate with you if you appreciate you know this lane of music. But you know what I mean. As far as you know, speed of the cadence and things like that. I, mean, I don't know. I was just talking, man. You know, I was just talking. I was talking about this shit. When I heard it, I was like, you know, I think people need to. They need to listen to that. Go listen to Lore Walk. It's on the Thousand Words album, produced man, entirely by Thirty Eight Special. That's a but fact. I was impressed because, like I said, your voice is so deep, and I don't know that I've heard. And somebody might correct me. I could be wrong. I don't remember having somebody listen to somebody with a voice that deep spit at that speed and then land those kind of punches. I was like, I'd never heard this before. So I, that was a, just a question I wanted to get out the way, but let's get on to some real serious shit. Um, <laughs> you had a funny back and forth with some cat on Twitter. Oh, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're about to go there. We're about to go there. Hey. Oh, man. So, dude said, and this is a quote from the dude that you was going back and forth with. This guy said, this guy followed my ex. I'm never sending him beats again. And you said, you said, what's your ex name so I can keep your beats out my inbox? Um. Okay. And then he came back and said something about it ain't really that serious. I would have never sent you beats anywhere. And you was like, yo, please tell me who your ex is because she got to see this shit. <laughs> my question. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, my nah. question is, did you ever connect with this girl or what? Nah, he wouldn't send the at, man. I asked him politely, too, but he wouldn't send the Are you about to close the deal on that shit, yo? I was I was just trying to get the app, bro. Like I don't, I didn't really care about that. That's she was talking about. I just wanted the app because um she said that's how you put the filter on for his shit. So I was just what you was doing? You was doing. Now you know what's funny. Um, it, it was a it was a that comment actually stemmed from something else, but um it was it it, it, it you know sometimes um with the timelines and all that you sitting there you looking like and um. You see somebody say some funny shit, so you say some funny shit back. Yeah. So like, I don't be giving a fuck, really. Like, it just be more yeah. like, I would, would they, what they call it, trolling or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I troll a producer or two. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They troll me too, though. They be all in my shit, telling me crazy. So yeah. it ain't no, you know, it's love back and forth. You know, I, I, it's always, like I said, any producers I work with, they know that it's genuine love. And, um, you know. Did you work with that guy before? No. No. Okay. I can't see I'm mad because you got like half you really have half the conversation. You don't have the other half of the I conversation. I was scrolling looking for the whole thought. Because it whole... came from something else, but I don't remember what it came from because I don't want to misquote it because then you know people gonna go get the receipts and all that, you know how the internet is. So I ain't gonna try to misquote this shit. But I know that shit came from something else. So when he said this and, guy um, followed my ex, <laughs> I'm never sending him beats again. This is a this is a follow up to some other shit y'all was talking about. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he, he was hating on another, on some other shit. Some, something was happening, and he, that dude specifically had through the hate. So I went and I saw that shit, and I was like, well, let me keep your shit out of my inbox too. Because you, he was just poking his head in on something else. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I was just telling him, yo, since you want to poke your head in too, you can now be the dub also. Y'all can both be the dub together for $40. <laughs> go enjoy life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's that's all I was telling them. Like, I thought you saying? was going to go hook up with his girl and then you was going to send him a pic of you. <laughs> like this. Nah, I, I ain't hooking up with nobody, girl. <laughs> well, it's, 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 right, well, I don't do that. Right, we don't do that. That's how you get killed out here. That's how you get shot. But he, that was his ex. Dying for these girls. <laughs> but it's the same shit though too also right because when you but I'm, I'm 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 committed now but back in the day i used to be flying around this motherfucker and mess around with these girls and one of my rules is you got to know if she got a crazy boyfriend or a crazy ex it's not, it don't mean i'm scared but if i if you come over to my house listen you gonna come over to your house i need to know do anybody got a key to this motherfucker <laughs> oh, how long listen, ago do you man, listen you know, y'all listen, everybody know I got four kids, man. I, I don't even know what that's like. I'm out the way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, said, I, I don't even know what it's like being single no more, man. Shit just so quiet. So it's like, you know what I mean? That shit is that. Uh, oh, I feel uh, you. I, I just wanted to keep that guy's beats on my inbox. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because he is talking crazy. Like, yeah. And, um, Who knows? His pic, the picture of, the, of the, this whole exchange might even be, appear on the screen. In this yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure it will. My powers always have the good graphics. Like, that's one thing I like when I write the interviews. Like, the graphics always pop out. Oh, that's fire. Now, yeah, good looking. Add some context. <laughs> Y'all niggas stop biting my style. Some niggas out there trying to bite me. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Nah, don't, st don't steal the sauce. You and Mussolini dropped Scriptures in the Sky album, which was crazy. Oh yeah, my God. Shout out to Mussolini. Shout out to Moose. Stand up, Salute cat. The, moose, man. the song stand -up. Nobody. Yes, oh produced by Dirty Days. So whether you're working with fact. Flea or Moose, uh, whenever you come on the track, you sound like the fixer. You sound <laughs> like the hitman. Uh, I believe Moose said you both worked uh, worked on that project in the same studio? That's a fact. That okay, right. so take me through your process of writing and recording, specifically on that particular project. Oh, man. Wild Gas, Wild Champagne. Nice. Wild Late Nights. Nice. That's it, really. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing, 
nothing more than good energy building with your brothers and vibe and now talking the shit you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Like going through the beats. Like um this was one this was the first first project where I went through beats. Like I actually selected beats from an email type like type shit. Like I don't usually like I don't usually take beat submissions at all, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because um, I work with producers, so, you know, I work yeah. with, you know, my in-house guys for the most part. So, um, it, it, like, I don't really, you know, no offense to nobody, but, like, I, I tell people, like, if you send me beats, I might use them for another artist. I might let somebody else use them, you know what I'm saying? But, if you know, if you're not okay with that, then just don't send me beats, because I'm, I'm probably not going to listen to them. Yeah, you good. This project, yeah. Uh, we listen to beats, you know what I'm saying? Because we was just vibing out, so, um, and you know, Moose was, you know, Moose, we gave some guys a shot, you know, and um, and and we, st I still ended up using a lot of in-house guys for the project, but um, it, it was, you know, it was still dope to just go through that, listen to the beats, and him, you know, things that he he likes, because I don't really, I, 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 you know, we are both rap over anything, me or Moose, to be honest with you, but yeah. it's good to see, you know, him that it take things that are more his vibe, me take things that are more my vibe, and we both, you know, meet in the middle, and uh, you know. Get that shit done. Like shit was, shit was a good. It was fire, fire process. Like, you know what I mean. Really, just creative energy, positive vibes, and and going in. You know what I mean. For for, for the shit we believe in. And I gotta I gotta jump in to say this. This is so we everybody's clear. So scriptures in the sky. Please go listen to it. When you listen to it, then purchase it. It's, it's trust me. And then also return of the auto. That shit. People want to sleep. Don't do this to yourself because the return of the auto is just. Masterpiece. It's, it's such so a fucking a good album, yo. God damn. And I'm gonna say it again. It gets better as it goes along. Like you, you, you talking about the second to last cut of the damn song. It's still going hard. It's not. It's it's no days off on that joint. So I, I gotta say that. Go listen to those joints, please. That's a fact. Salute to Boss Dawn and Moose and, and Emilio about to drop too, man. If you're not in tune, man, get in tune, Emilio Craig, man. Salute to everybody that's working, man, for real. Is Emilio um, his brother? Uh yeah, uh he's he's I believe um yes and yeah. he comes under Boston Records they um they both represent you know the Boston, Boston Records we out here you know what I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. salute to those guys man so, family we we talking about the studio and and you working because I like the story where y'all y'all not distant y'all together in the studio um y'all got the vibes going the good gas so tell me how this works are you the type of guy you go in the studio you already got your bars you ready to lay it down or you go in there, you spend some money in the studio and maybe two hours of that y'all smoking, talking and vibing. Um, I, I, I don't, I, I usually, I never pre-write bars and I, 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 I hate doing that because I don't, I don't think it sound organic. Hmm. Um, like if, 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 if I have to do it, I have to record like immediately, like, you know what I'm saying? Like soon, like, you know what I mean? Within the, 24 hours, like, you know, and so I can try to keep the vibe as close to when I was writing it as possible, like, you know what I mean? Um, so, but, but I say this, um, I write relatively fast, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think uh, my, 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 my bros was just talking about that on Twitter, my, my brother, uh, too. Yeah, we're going to have to get to that in a minute. That's on my list of questions. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm not someone who takes a long time to write bars, so like I, I can give you a verse in probably 10, 15 minutes if it's taking me a long time, like, you know what I mean? So that's, you know what I mean? That, I'm, I'm not saying I don't need two hours to vibe out and create a verse. Like, that's not, I don't need that kind of time. Because you said on Twitter, I write faster than the average rapper, but quality is the goal. Yeah, like it has to, it has to, it has to land. You know, the punches are not good if they don't land. You know what I'm saying? So. And I, and I have to say that I said this. Uh, um, I forget who I was talking to, but somebody said something along those lines in one of the interviews I did. And I said to the viewer, "That's out of respect for you." This is the thing you got to understand. It's a lot of niggas out there that's creating this garbage, and and y'all bumping it. You like the beat? It's club worthy and all this other good. Then niggas don't respect you. You know what I mean? Okay. So this this he said it's 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 the quality that's important to him. What you think he want the quality for? For your fucking benefit. So like I said, when these guys put in this hard work for the culture, 
Because 15, 20 years from now, when we complaining that the next goofy nigga is going, picking up a goddamn Grammy, and we mad that the real shit ain't, that's our fault. That's our fault. 